What's up, everybody? This is Baba Bomani, and welcome to Baba Bomani's Basement. Today, our good friends at the William S. Schmidt Center, otherwise known as Camp Schmidt, are sending us on an amazing field trip to the Prince George's County Organics Composting Facility. We are going to learn how food scraps and lawn clippings turn into nutrients for the soil we grow our food in. Keep an eye out for vocabulary words and make sure to ask questions when we have reached the end. Let's go. Behind me we have our open windrows. Our windrows are just that. They're open rows filled with yard trim, so it's grass, leaves, and brush. They take us eight months from start to finish the process. In comparison with our food scraps program with the Gore system, which only takes us eight weeks, it's a significantly longer process, but it also makes a very good product, and this is where this facility got its start from. In 1991, we started this winter operation where we had over 50 to 60 rows across the entire facility. Now we utilize just the A-pad over here for our open windrow process. All right, so behind us we have our food stocks receiving area, processing, composting, and then further down the line will be our screening area. This is where all the food scraps come to be tipped onto site. Once they are tipped, they are covered with a carbon source that helps to mitigate any sort of fly or vermin issues. It also helps keep uh, any birds or rodents away. A lot of people like to ask how, how do we keep all uh, the skies clear and you know all the animals away and we use our natural carbon source we have on site. Once we have a pile, we put it through our grinder. The material comes off there mixed and ground up. We put it into our board cover system and it sits that cover system for a total of eight weeks. When it comes out, it matures for another two to four weeks, and then it's screened and sold as finished compost, ready to be used in your garden. So behind us is our bore cover system. We have 12 bunkers and eight mobile heaps. Inside each bunker is approximately 300 tons of food scraps. Uh, we process all this material within eight weeks. Uh, the covers are made of a Gore-Tex-like material. It helps to trap odor molecules, so you don't have that odor issue and it also helps to accelerate the composting process by controlling the environment inside of the pile. All right, so the entire process from start to finish for Leaf Grow Gold is fruit scraps comes in, we process it through the grinder, it spends eight weeks through the gore system, it comes out of the gore system, spends additional two weeks to mature, from there it goes through our screener and gets screened out to go to the public. So here at the compost site, we're also concerned about the environment in other ways besides composting. We also like to retain all of the used oil and liquids in the loaders and all of our trucks when we do services. We save that used oil and we reuse it as uh, fuel in the winter time to heat our shop. It's one more way that Maryland Environmental Service in Prince George's County at the compost facility is working to save our environment. There is too much trash. What can we do? The William S. Smith Center has some tips for you. There is too much trash. What can we do? Compost food scraps and yard waste. Two things we throw away cause the earth a lot of hurt. Throw away less things or what we call the vert. The environment and our food is interlaced. So we have to compost food scraps and waste. Meat from the butcher man, veggies from the garden. Get ground up then covered in carbon. Then run through a system that really does the most and then sells back to the community compost. One thing we learned right here with Camp Schmidt.